Hey everybody, I'm Roger Wakefield, the lead AP, the expert plumber, and as you can see, I finally made it. Now, this is not my normal attire, and I, I hope y'all know that. Uh, and I see we got some people in here, man. Thank y'all for coming in. Thank you for hanging around. Neil, the Urban Explorer, good to have you in here, brother. Uh, William, thank you for, man, taking care of everything. You know, we ran into a problem, uh, and it happens. And I saw the comment in here earlier about plumbers getting dirty. There you go. Uh, uh, Giggity FU is plumbing super dirty, man. Th th this is a, this is about as good as it gets right here. Uh, plumbing can get dirty. Amos Cardoza, how are you, sir? Uh, I'm gonna scroll back up there, but but guys, here here it is. And I, I started to come in and change shirts. Most of y'all normally don't ever even see my Texas green plumbing shirts. Uh, m most of, most of y'all, man, you just get to see me in my Roger Wakefield the expert plumber shirt. I've got my Yeti here, but I am drinking some iced tea. Uh, it's been a fun day. How's everybody in here doing tonight? Man, I got some great things to talk about tonight. I know that last week we talked about a sponsorship and, uh, man, giveaways and all kinds of cool stuff. And I actually reached out to, I've got a sewer camera company and a leak detection equipment that, that are saying, hey, look, we, we want to we wanna help you out. We want to, man, we want to give you some things to give away. And, and that's actually pretty cool to me. So... What I'm going to do is I am going to roll up here in the comments. We'll talk about some stuff real quick. Uh, Vlada One is in here. Good to have you here. Man, I'm, I'm going to pronounce that one wrong. Amst Abdullah. What's up? How are you, sir? Good to have you here. Neil, of course, always good to have you here, brother. Uh, KD, man, I am glad you're here. You're not old, you're ancient. Welcome back, man. It is good to have you in here. Uh, and is plum and dirty, man. I, I think you see, and Neil, no, I do not smell like roses right now. So I want to tell y'all, and, and I'll, I'll get back to the comments here in a minute, but, but here's why I'm late. One of my apprentices went over to, to look at a tunnel job and, and I call it a tunnel job. We're really under a pyramid beam house, but it was so tight. We dug an access hole at the two way cleanouts and tunneled in from there. And, you know, they, they still give us enough room to get in there and work, which is great. Man, I, I love the way we do things. It helps so much. But the neat thing about it is we, we, we got down in there, and I say the neat thing, uh, there's room to work. And, and I guess that's the best way to put it. I don't know that it's a neat thing, but it works. So what we did is my, I sent my apprentice over to, to get a look at it to see what we needed. And he got over there, and he got to looking around. He says, Roger, look. Man, there, there's two complete separations. The ditch has sewer water in it. I'll let you figure out what's in it. Uh, I know what's in it. imagine most of y'all do too. But I literally, man, he pumped it out, and he's like, look, it, it ain't good. And the bad thing is when the dig crew dug down towards the end, there was, there was a, a dip, so a hole. Uh, so I went in, and I, I pulled dirt off the side of the ditch, put it down in there, was rolling plastic out got back to where the two brakes are and I decided that what I was going to do was lay the plastic over the dirt that I put down, try and fix those two brakes and just a temporary deal. Not, Hey, I'm going to repop everything yet. I'm going to do that tomorrow. But what I did was I, I got dirt in the hole. I covered it with plastic and then I got in there and fixed those two repairs just enough to where they won't fill the ditch. Meaning, I didn't fix them the right way. I know that. I put back together what was there. I put one section of pipe in because the one that they had in wasn't long enough, and that was part of the problem. So anyway, I made a repair to allow me <laughs> to not have to go back in and work in sewer water tomorrow. I mean, man, it smelled ripe. But the, the sewer line that we fixed going down, it literally turned right up under uh, a Wisconsin for a toilet. So the problem that I have was where that turned up, that combo turned up, it was separated there. They had just used a no hub band. They didn't use a share brand. They, they didn't use even a CT adapter. Again, a plumber didn't do it right. Or maybe a plumber didn't do it. So I'm not going to say that. But the problem is, you know, it had separated. 
and I don't know if it had leaked a little bit, and that made the ground get soft there, and the combo eventually came down. It pulled the no-hub band loose. It pulled it out of the glue joint coming in the other end, which is the one that, to me, didn't look long enough. So, man, I took a few minutes to put all that back together. That way, tomorrow when we go by, there's no new sewage down in there. So, anyway, guys, man, man, I, I do smell pretty good. I've been lying to y'all. Amos Cardoza, how are you? Good to have you in here. Jeff Wilbanks, man, I know. It is amazing. And Ringo Hayes, I got to tell you what. I don't smell like a grease trap. Uh, that probably smells worse than what I was in today. And there is just something about the grease. Man, the funk that goes on in a grease trap. So so it was not that bad. Thank God. Uh, yes, William Bros Rock, thank you for keeping up with everybody, brother. Uh so, man, what we are, what we are looking good and ready to go. Uh, Emma Cardoza got to run the store quickly so you can catch the stream, man. I appreciate that. Uh, I am ready. Barney Film 85 is in the house. Hello, guys. Just finishing up the last trim out on a small bathroom remodel before you go home. Man, we're doing great. How are you? Uh, look, man, I came in, guys, straight from under a house and... Man, I got to tell you, it's, uh, it's, it's, number one, I love plumbing, so I love what we do. But I'm literally under there, and, and guys, I am so focused on what I'm working and what I'm doing. Sorry about that. I needed, needed a drink of tea. I'm so focused on what I'm doing that literally I'm under here. I'm working. I'm trying to get it together. I, I knew how much time I had when I started, and... All of a sudden, I look down. I'm like, oh, poop. Talking poop with a plumber. Oh, poop. I am supposed to be live in 15 minutes. I hollered at Aaron. I said, Aaron, come on. Let's go. Here's what I need. And boom, boom, boom. I mean, we did about 30 minutes work in about 10 minutes. I hopped in the truck. He's finishing rolling up now and headed this way. And I called Will. I said, man, look, let him know I'm headed that way. I will get there just as quick as I can. So, guys, I do appreciate it and do appreciate y'all hanging around. And I know a lot of these are nice clothes. And, and I got to tell you, I mean, look at me. I, I've still got my banded collar. These, I know you can't tell, they're they're still cut. They're trimmed. I have my tr sleeves and my sides trimmed. And this is an old brand of shirt. Uh, I've, I've changed everything over to Wrangler. Uh, man, I've worn Wrangler jeans for my entire life. But... I changed my shirts over to Wrangler. I've got a George Strait cut that they have that is amazing. And, man, I got to tell you, I love it. So, yes, they are nice clothes. Thank you very much. Jim Brandt, good to have you in here. And, yes, Will, I am muddy. Uh, Ringo Hayes, the missus lets you come inside like that. Yeah, yeah, trust me. Uh, she should hose me down. Luckily, I'm at the plumbing company. Uh, that's where our studio is. We, we turned – you know, I feel sorry for Will because, you know, Will had this nice big office here and we kicked him out and, and put him up in another office, which is probably about half the size. We got him sharing it with another videographer. But, man, the goal is one day, man, we can turn it back into a full-blown studio and he can have his office back. But I'll tell you what, for right now, man, we're having fun. We, we love what we do and, and we're making it work. So it's pretty cool. So, Ringo, she doesn't let me come in muddy, but she understands every now and then, man, it is what it is. Uh, Alan Thompson, great, absolutely. And, you, and you know, man, and Jim, man, you nailed it right there. G guys, this is what money looks like. Uh, when you get out and you're doing tunnel repairs up under a house and, and you're, man, in the ditches, in the mud, getting under there and doing what it takes, it's, uh, you know, Jim said it. It's money, and, and, and that's what it that's what it is. That's what we're in this trade for, to make a good living for ourselves, our family, man, for whatever we want to do, and and that's what it's all about. Uh, Julie Wakefield, boy, you nailed it. I have been under a house today. See, talking about the boss there. So, yes, I have. DJ Double M, if a waste, if a waste for face basin too high, what are some tricks to do? Oh, man, that's a fun one. Uh, I have seen people try to invert the P-trap, turn the, not invert it, 
turn the P trap around to make it have a lower, a deeper seal. Uh, as long as they're not putting a lot of stuff in it, I've seen that work for a long time. Uh, and you can cut the wall open. I don't know what the backside of the wall looks like or what it looks like under that cabinet, but I've seen people cut the wall open and get in there and actually lower the drain. That is an option. So, man, tell me a little bit more about it. I like that. James Cunningham, looks like you've actually been working. Absolutely. And, and James, it is, man. It's a great afternoon. Guys, look, I, I tell you all the time, I love our trade. I love plumbing. I love what we get to do. And, and the fact that, man, I can make a living at that and, and have for many, many years. Don't get me wrong. I've got other opportunities coming up now with social media and some really neat things that I'm working on. And, man, when it happens, I, I think it's going to benefit a lot of people. So, man, I'm really, really happy about it. Alan Thompson, good to have you in here. Alan, ha number one, how'd you hear about us? Matter of fact, everybody in here, if you've got just a second, put a note in there. How did you hear about us? How did you hear about Roger Wakefield, the expert plumber, Texas Green Plumbing? Whatever it is that brought you in here today, do me a favor and, and man, just drop a note in there and say, you know, this is how I found you or this is how I heard about you. And also where you're from. Um, I just saw a note down there, for, hello from the UK. Uh, greetings from the UK. Flow right Plumbing, good to have you in here. I appreciate that. Gato Perez, Don Mahone, and you're afraid that the pipes will take away. You know what? Man, the pipes take it all away. It, it happens. So let me see. Where are we? Man, it jumped. There we go. Timothy Roberts. Smells like roses over here. Man, and, and that's what it is. And, and I, you know, I said joking on the way and I was driving on the road. Uh, you know, y'all wouldn't believe what I smell like. You know, most of y'all are plumbers, so you know what I smell like. But here's the good thing is it wasn't that bad. Uh, I told y'all earlier that – why are you bringing me roses? Oh, now it smells like roses. My baby brought me roses. Uh, actually, I gave them to her. Uh, but, the, you know, the neat thing is, you know, it's not as bad as it sounded. Uh, down at the end of the ditch where it was holding sewage, I literally – I climbed in there a little bit earlier and skimmed the top where the, the dig crew had left dirt on the side – Filled it with dirt to help absorb some of that. Rolled out some plastic and covered it up. And, man, it not too shabby. But I promise I didn't have to get into it. Uh, <laughs> I like that, Julie. Uh, let me see. Greetings from the UK. It's all good. Just got here yourself. James, good. Good to have you in here. And, you know, Julie, you're right. My, my Wrangler shirts, those are not for tunneling under a house. That's mainly for in front of the camera. But, you know, I and, and I saw the comment earlier, and, and that's probably why I did it. People ask me, you know, look, is plumbing dirty? Guys, I do get dirty. I, I mean, look at me. And I, I got – this is probably dirtier than any of y'all have ever seen me, uh, except maybe Julia and Will. But, you know, here, here's the thing is, look, I don't have to get this way. I don't have to get this way every day. Uh, I could have taken the time to put on a Tyvek suit. Uh, to put down more plastic, to go and throw more dirt down, wait till tomorrow. But guys, when I saw the separation, when I saw the the top of the combo where it goes into the Santee to, or the Wisconsin to catch the water closet, it had separated because somebody used a no hub band, wrong thing to use, and the glue joint out of the end of the combo had pulled loose. So and this was a duplex, so that line went and caught the other side. So, man, basically it was just – it was not good things. They, they had two major issues that were causing problems. They've had to have foundation work. And, man, we were able to get over there and, man, make things look good. So it works out pretty good. Uh, Kenny from Sugarland, Texas, good to have you in here. Uh, southwest to Houston. Man, we are – actually, and I say we. I'm supposed to be headed to Houston tomorrow. I'm not going to make it because we've got a lot of stuff going on. I need plumbers up here in the Dallas area. Residential service plumbers, man, y'all can make a good living here in Dallas. Uh, I need plumbers up here in Dallas. Matter of fact, a lot of plumbing companies do. So Julie is going to end up going down to Houston. Uh, she's going down. We got a couple of Master Networks events going on this week. She's got, and, and those of y'all that don't know what Master Networks are, I know you've heard me talk about it. We, we are involved in networking. That's how I've grown my business. So to have her uh, go down there, 
get down there and help take care of that. Now, Kenny, I will tell you what, next week, uh, we will be, we will both be down in Houston and on Tuesday night, I'll be at the St. Regis. We will be at the Houston Young Professionals. And I'll tell you what, if y'all aren't connected with Freddie Gorgeous down there on LinkedIn, man, connect with him. He is a really good guy, very well connected. And man, just, man, he, he believes in networking and getting people together. And it does, it works. So it is fantastic. Vlada One, what is my opinion on SIP Pop Repair? Uh, the new trench here. Oh, it's the new tech here, but I see it been in the U.S. for quite a while. You know, and, and I'm going to tell you, to be honest, I have not done a lot of it. I know companies that are doing it. I know companies that are just now getting into it. And my thing is, and, and I look at just looking at the job today, it would not have worked. And I say that because it's mainly, you know, it's good for a crack. It's good for... Channel right, I think. There's certain things that it's good for, but this was a complete separation two times on one fitting. Uh, the, the top of the combo and the bottom of the Wisconsin, the combo had tilted like that, so it had pulled apart. And on this end of it where the glue joint went in, it had separated like that and opened up at the bottom. So, man, it just it, it wouldn't have done anything for it. And don't get me wrong, I know some plumbing companies doing it and making good money at it. I checked into, I believe it was New Flow at one point, and I believe it was going to cost me $150,000 just to buy their, their start-out equipment. Man, I was like, wow, that, that's, that's a lot of cash. I'd have to be doing a lot of that to get going. So I don't know much about it, but if you want to reach out to me, send me a message through you know YouTube or, or LinkedIn or wherever, I will, I'll hook you up with some people that can tell you about it and, and at least let you know what they think. So, yeah, so, so that's my, yeah. yeah, I tell you what, Julie, Julie's rough on me, but I tell you what, she takes great care of me. I love it. Uh, Kenny, Sugar Land, got it. What is my opinion of SIP? Got it. Alan Thompson, thank you, found me with an outburst suggested video from Boone, Iowa. Man, that's a long way from Dallas, Texas, brother. I'm glad you're in here. Uh, James Cunningham. Better yet, smells like money. You know, and, and that's the deal is, is guys, it's, it's what we do for a living. Uh, Alan Thompson, I like that. YouTube suggested video. And, and I tell you what, it's really neat because, you know, we've been working on YouTube now for almost two years. And I say that it, it was the first week of April two years ago. So it's almost been two years. And, guys, things are going great. Uh, the people that we've reached, the people that we, we've got to know and connect with and grow with, man, I, I love this. Uh, I'm having fun. I've got a lot of people that send me messages all the time and say, oh, my God, look, I'm learning so much about plumbing from you. I've got other trades reaching out to me, asking me, look, you know, you talk about plumbing all the time. Is it the same if I want to be an electrician or an HVAC tech? And, man, I talk to them and help them out. So I love it, and, and I just man, I think it's great that I have an opportunity to help people. So I love it. That is wonderful. Uh, Guitar1301, good to have you in here. How are you? Ringo Hayes, you got to place 85 feet water service and a PRV today. It felt great outside. The way you represented us all at the Capitol made me a friend follower for life. Thanks, brother. And you're in Fort Worth. Ringo, I love it. Uh, I'm watching my guys come in and bring pop in and stuff. Uh the neat thing is, hey, we can leave that pipe out there, y'all. Uh, you know, the, the neat thing is that I've got, I've had a great opportunity, and it's through plumbing. Uh, I have talked to the Texas State Board of Plumbing Examiners. I've talked to TDLR. I've talked to hashtag seventy one K Plum Strong. I have talked to Service Plumbers of America, Service Plumbers of Texas. I've talked to to so many plumbers. And not just that, politicians. Uh, you know, the bad thing is, I, I think the Texas governor is going to jack us all over. I think he's going to do whatever he wants to do. It doesn't matter on what we voted on. It doesn't matter what we got our representatives and senators to vote on. He's not stepping up and doing what he's supposed to do. And, and I think that's just pure <laughs> talking poop with a plumber. Just throw that out there. Uh, 
So Ringo, I appreciate that. Uh, I, I love the opportunities that plumbing has brought me. I joined the union in 97. I became an instructor there before I got fired because I didn't like my union attitude. But the neat thing about it is I got to teach a lot of apprentices and I've had a lot of apprentices reach out and say, look, I learned a lot from you. I really do like the way you teach and what you did. So I love it. Timothy B. Roberts, Google search for plumbing experts for how to DIY. Learn so much from me. Thanks. You are more than welcome, man. I appreciate it. That's, that's why we do it. Those comments right there, man, they make it all worthwhile. Julie, don't you be teaming up with James Cunningham. Yeah. So, Katie, Julie's right. She's headed your way first thing in the morning. Uh, Katie, do you, do you own your own company? Do you work for somebody else? Are you in a position where you would get out and network? Because I'm always trying to connect. We've got some great home inspectors out there. What'd you say? Oh, she's already, Julie's already got somebody that wants to start a Master Networks chapter in Sugarland. So, pretty cool. From Henrietta, Texas, Timothy Roberts. How are you? I love it. Second thoughts, best Dallas RMP class in my opinion. Man, best. The best one, man, I don't know that I'd say Dallas. Uh, I know Johnny Curtin helped write the book, and he's not up in Dallas, I don't think. I, I got to tell you what, uh, Rusty Wyman and Diane Villarreal over at AACES are fantastic. Those are probably two of the smartest people I know in plumbing. Bobby Duran's class is good. He's, if he still has Pepper come in and do economics from TCU. Uh, man, there's just there's, there's a lot of options there. Uh, it, it, boy, that's a tough question. There's some good people that, that teach it. So, And somebody says right there, Bobby Duran is the best. Bobby Duran is good. I mean, he really is. We were actually supposed to have dinner a couple of weeks ago. It kind of fell through. Christopher Salas from San Antonio. Man, some of my favorite restaurants are down there, brother. I love going to Mi Tierra's. Right? And I know that's a tourist trap. I don't care. Man, it is good. Uh, Guitar 1301, good to see that you aren't afraid to get down and dirty, even though you're the owner of the business. Let me tell you what. Uh, man. Just because I own it means I need to be out there doing more. I, I look at it a lot different than, than a lot of company owners. I, man, I still love the trade. Don't get me wrong. As I get older, uh, it's tougher, but I still love it. I, man, I, I tell people all the time, look, I've got people calling me about buying a company. So, yes, it's kind of for sale. But if I found the right service manager or operations manager, man, it could be magic. So I still love that idea. I think it's a great opportunity. But, you know, man, I got people making me offers that are starting to get pretty good. So it's getting close. But then again, y'all are just going to see more on me on social media. So it's going to be crazy. Uh, Fifong Wong 3, Local 100, Fifth Year Apprentice. Man, if you're a Local 100 Apprentice, ch change your name because I, I almost had a hard time pronouncing that. Fifong Wong, I hope I got it right though. Fifong Wong 3, Local 100. Man, that's where I used to be a, an instructor at, uh, fifth year apprentice. I think that is fantastic. Are you plumbing? Are you pipe fitting? Are you welding? Are you refrigeration? What are you doing? Uh, I've got another guy down there that I helped get into the union a while back, Derek Williams. Uh, I believe he's a fifth year. I think he's in the HVAC program, but an, another really, really good guy. Actually saw him yesterday. Uh, Jim Brant, local DFW plumber, been in class with you. I love that. Uh, Katie, I'll check with Julie and see when Sugarland's supposed to start. I know that I, man, it may be this weekend because I know or this week she's doing network groups on Tuesday and Thursday, and then next week I'm down there Tuesday night for the Houston Young Professionals. So I'll either be at the Heights Tuesday or Thursday morning. And I don't know where I'll be, but I know next Tuesday night I'll be at the St. Regis. Uh, James Cunningham, Local 100, Second Year Apprentice, introduced you by 
my channel by Christy Graff. That is good. She shared your video, the start of the uh, fight for our licensing. You know, guys, and man, I, I like the way you put that, James, because the fight for our licensing is still going on. And man, here in Texas, it's something we need to keep our eyes on because the governor's not doing what he's supposed to do, not doing what he said he'd do. The appointment committee's not doing what they're supposed to do. The Texas State Board is not doing what they're supposed to do. There's a whole lot of people not doing what they're supposed to do, and we're the ones who are going to get the shaft. And the sad thing is, and man, I'm going to get on my, I'm going to get on my soapbox. I saw a comment just the other day that Governor Abbott posted that he was supporting Patty from the House of Representatives in Marshall, Texas. And if you live in Marshall, Texas, and you let them vote that son of a biscuit in, y'all should be ashamed of yourself. Because I'd be out, I would be out every day telling people to vote against him. What he did was hogwash. So Neil, hey Amos, glad you hear my vid last week. Absolutely had to be uploaded, so lost your comment. In case you thought I hadn't replied, uh, found your channel just by typing plumbing in YouTube. I love that, and, and man, that's the cool thing is, man, YouTube has been good to me, and I don't know if it's because we're doing things right or we're doing what we should do or what, but. Man, YouTube has been really good about recommending and suggesting my videos and getting it in front of people. And, and I'll tell you what, it, it doesn't get any better than that. Neil, the Urban Explorer. Sorry, you was on the pooper. Ha <laughs> And out in the van. So it's out in the hole in the woods. You know what? Brother, you go where you got to go. It is what it is. Joe, thoughts on tinning flux? <clears throat> you know, I tell you what, Joe, I, I'm an old school plumber. I, I still love to solder. Uh, I love old sea flux. It's the tinning flux, I think, is great. If you clean your copper properly and you get the right amount of flux on it, man, I don't have any problem with it. I, uh, and I, I think it is still a, a really, really good thing. It, it works for me, but then again, it always has. Ringo Hayes, where do I learn more about the Masters Network? Uh, just opened up Plumbers Plumbing LLC in Fort Worth last week. Uh, Julie, if if you're still in here, will you get in? And I think I've got you as a moderator. Uh, if you'll get in and put in a link <clears throat> to Master Networks, that would be great. And then people can find out about it, or you can put in your Houston phone number or an email address or something like that, and people can get in touch with you. Neil, Roger, I don't know if you know anything about com compost toilets. Uh, you'll be building a bigger van this year, so looking into it. You know what, Neil? I've never installed them, but I, I do know about them. I studied them when I was with Green Plumbers USA. <clears throat> I think they're a good thing. Uh, there's, there's a lot of different opportunities for water conservation. And, man, I, I think stuff like that, all this is going to become more prevalent and a bigger deal in the future because and our population just keeps growing, guys, and we got the same amount of water. So it's not going to get a whole lot better. So, yes, I, Neil, you get with me, and I'll help you figure it out, brother. Fa Fang Wong, fitter, good deal. Class, we're working on plumbing lessons as well. You know, and, and that's good. And, and my son did the exact same thing. My son turned out, I don't remember if it was 95. No, it's 2005. So my son turned out 15 years ago. Uh, if you look on the plaques out front, he won an apprentice of the year a few times. Here's the thing is, I love the fact that they, they get you your apprentice card when you start. That way... You can learn plumbing on the job. You can get in there. You can learn how to pass the test, and you can come out as a plumber slash pipe fitter. And you know what? If you really want to weld, too, you can do that, too. But, man, two out of three ain't a bad gig. Okay, Katie from Sugarland, just southwest of Houston, says you are so passionate about what you do. That's why you love what you do. And, man, it's true. I uh, And I have people ask me all the time, say, look, how, how is it you do this 40 years and, and you still love it? And it, it's still, there's something to learn every day. And I know that sounds crazy, but there's new products. There's new technology. There's new tools. There's so many new things out there and so many opportunities. 
you know, we were talking about CCIP a while ago. CIPP. Uh, and, and here's the deal, guys, is look, there's new technologies coming that, that they're going to change the way we do things in the future. If you'd have told me 10 years ago, uh, you'll carry a iPad with you every, number one, I don't even know if iPads were around then, but you'll carry an iPad or a, a smartphone with you everywhere you go. You'll take pictures of everything you do. Today, I was literally under there and I'm shooting video. Okay. Now that's more for me and I'm probably different than most plumbers, but it is really neat to know that I can do that and, and I can come in and put it where y'all can see what I'm doing at work and, you know, judge me on what I do. doesn't bother me. So Ben Weaver, Fort Myers, soon to be Fort Lauderdale. Good for you. Uh, I heard of you because you showed up everywhere on search engine, watched one video and you were hooked, man. I love it. Thank you very much, Ben. I appreciate that. And, and guys, that's it is, man, I do love what I do. And if you love it this much, this is a great career for you. And, and I say career to be honest, is a great profession. Uh, what we get to do is amazing. And man, we get to take care of people. And I talk to people all the time about my mini course and, and, and what I have. And really all it is, is asking people what kind of plumber they want to be. Do you want to be residential or commercial? Do you want to be new construction or service? Do you want to be union or non-union? And those are the kind of things that I didn't even know to ask when I got into the trade. So the fact that thanks to social media, I can put that information out there, teach people what the difference is and let them make a decision that may make this a better career for them. Or it may talk them out of college or like in Will's case, Will's going to say, look, I don't want to be a plumber. I'm going to college. So man, there's a lot of good things about this. And man, I just, I love the opportunities. You can do whatever you want in this trade. So Julie, you'll know more on Thursday, reach out to Roger for updates. Fantastic. Jeff Wilbanks, Local 100, 101. Where is Local 101, Jeff? First year apprentice. I like that. Paul Peck, drywall tube is in the house. Good to have you here, brother. All right. Amen to Patty out. Absolutely. freaking lutely uh, The plumbing protects the sanitation of the nation. You know, Brandon, you know, American Norman Rockwell came up with that original poster. You know, it's got the plumber standing up and all these hot 1950s housewives are standing there rooting him on. And it says the plumber protects the health of the nation. But I mean, there's more truth to that than most people believe. Thanks to plumbers not allowing cross connections and getting sanitary sewage out and potable water in clean and safe. It, it does. It makes a big difference and it does. It helps keep disease out. So pretty cool deal. Christopher, yeah, see Christopher Sauce. Okay, so John Curtin's in Thailand too. I didn't know he was in Tyler. I thought he was mainly just down around Austin. But I'll tell you what, Johnny Curtin's fantastic. He was one of the instructors that watched you take your test when I was down in Austin or whenever I was going taking tests. So pretty cool. Paul, good to see you in here, brother. Uh, man, I know I told you I was going to call you. I, me, me and you need to talk. I got a lot going on. Uh, David Sepovec, David Spevacek, Spevacek, man, I'm jacking it up. I'm going to call you David, uh, worked as an apprentice for two years, got out to work, got out to work in the movies. Now you're wishing you hadn't. So David, tell me, what do you do in the movies? Uh, and it's funny cause I was doing research this morning. I'm looking for videographers, uh, and I'm looking for videographers that want to learn, that want to come in and learn how to do YouTube, uh, that maybe want something more than just cinematography. The ones I'm looking at, my, I've got the greatest freaking videographer on earth. And he's trained in cinematography. So he looks at my videos way bigger than I ever have. And I love it because he's done great things with it. Ringo, definitely check into it, man. Uh, Killer Rob, 1998. How much math is in plumbing? Well, man, I got to tell you this. It's not near as much as you think. And, and I say that because 
About the only thing math-wise you really need to learn in plumbing most of the time is how to read a tape measure. Now, you may have to convert decimals to fractions every now and then. Guys, and you know what's funny? Because I have so many people write me messages and say, look, I can't get into plumbing because of math. And I'm like, man, don't let math slow you down. There's not that much involved in it. Now, there may be every now and then, but it's my, the, the biggest math that we have is learning to read a tape measure. Uh, there's not a lot of formulas. There's not, and, and I say that it depends on what kind of work you do. Residential service, almost no math at all. Commercial, you could get into where, hey, you know what, I got a, I've got to do an order and I've, I've got this many feet of pipes per section. I've got 5,000 sections and we got this and this and this. But, man, it's, it's nothing crazy. Don't let math keep you out of it, whatever you do. Neil, Paul Peck is in the house. Roger's free mini course to help you begin. Paul, thank you so much, brother. I appreciate that. I have got the best moderators. I got to tell you. It, it's and, and, guys, look, I'm new to YouTube. These guys are pros. They've been doing this for so long. And if you are not subscribed to the Urban Explorer and Paul Peck Drywall Tube, if you're not connected with, with Julie on LinkedIn, uh, William Rosebrock, either on, on LinkedIn or, or YouTube or wherever, not on YouTube, on, on LinkedIn or uh, Facebook or somewhere like that, me, man, I got stuff scrolling there on the bottom. You can find me anywhere. Matter of fact, earlier today, you could have found me under a house. Uh, so anyway, you can find me anywhere. Jeff Wilbanks, Belleville, Illinois, outside of St. Louis. Welcome in here. Good to have you here. Convest, been qualified one year from the UK. See, that's pretty cool. You've been qualified for a year in, in Urban Explorer up there has been certified. Well, maybe not. Uh, I don't know if you know Neil or not, but i tell you what, he's a good guy. I can't believe you're not coming to social media marketing world, Neil. Uh, I was kind of excited about the possibility of, you know, getting to hang out again. One trip a year though. I get it. And you know what, brother, if you are working on that and focusing on that and you learn what you need to learn, man, you picked a good one because vid summit's amazing. So let me see. Doing good. How was the van show tomorrow? Paul headed down today. Birmingham, aha, and then Brendan Cox got your message retracted. Kyle Malashuski, Roger, enjoying your channel. You've been exploring a career, changing from teaching, done a lot of research, and really interested in plumbing. Is 35 too late to get in because, no, not at all. Uh, here is sectioned in 2010. Neil, brother, I love you. You're a great guy. So, you know, Kyle, no. Uh, here's the thing. And, you know, I, you heard me a while ago. I used to be an instructor in a union. And the neat thing about it is while I was an instructor in a union, I had students coming in that were straight out of high school. I had students coming in that were 50 years old. And I mean that because I had a fifth-year class – and one of my apprentices was 55 years old in that class. And, man, his attitude was amazing. He's like, look, I am loving learning. Uh, he was going to school as a fitter. So it was a little bit different than, than plumbing. But here's the thing. He was good. He wanted to learn. He worked hard. And, and man, that's what it was all about. So... You're never too old to do it unless you think you are. And, and trust me, I'm 56. And, man, if, if you've watched any of my videos, uh, you know, if y'all haven't subscribed to my channel, you should and watch some of the videos. And, and I'll tell you more reasons why in a little bit that you should. We're fixing to – we're going to be doing some giveaways. And I am talking to one of the coolest sewer camera companies. I'm talking to – one of the best leak detection equipment companies. And I've got new product that is first to market. And they're already reaching out to me saying, hey, look, 
We like what you're doing. We like the way you talk about it. Would you be interested in teaming up with us and, and helping us tell people about this? And I'm like, man, I love what you're talking about. So yes. And the funny thing is, I've been talking to them for two years, even before I was doing social media. And when I found out about this product, man, I was like, guys, I love this. This is amazing. It's going to do neat things. And we are getting to the point where, man, it's getting close to coming to fruition. They actually told me, I think yesterday, no, I got a message today. They've actually got 12 working products and I think they've got a thousand ordered to get in, get them out in the field and get them going. And man, this is, this is going to change plumbing. This is going to change a lot of things that we do. A lot of it in the residential service industry, but it's all good. Neil, you're amazing, man. Nose for the crazies, man. I, I'm connected. Uh, and, and it's in my blood. It's not that I got a nose for it. It's in my blood. Jeff Wilbanks, Kyle, switching from 10 years of truck driving to plumbing. I love that. I love that. Guys, and I'm telling you, 35, here's the deal. At 35, you're going to want to learn. You're going to want to learn quicker. You're going to want to learn better. And, guys, I've got videos where I literally talk about – how did I do that? There we go. Let's go right there, see if that helps. Uh, I've got videos where I teach people how to study. And I tell people this all the time. Had I known how, how to study and had the material and, and stuff been there, I mean, think about it. Y'all got phones. You've got the internet. You've got a computer. I know y'all can't see it. I got my, I keep looking down here at my comments. But, you know, here, here's the thing is, y'all have got stuff that we didn't have. And, you know, I've, I've got the study guide back here, and I teach people how to use it. And I think that's phenomenal. But had I had all this information, man, I could have probably learned plumbing in six months to a year, enough to get out and be productive and act like a real plumber. And I tell apprentices all the time that ask me, look, how do I do good in this industry? How do I grow in this industry? And the thing is, learn to look ahead. What is the plumber you're working with going to need from you five minutes from now? What's he going to need? You know, he's up on a ladder right now. What's he going to need when he climbs down? Have those things there and ready. If for copper fittings, have them have them cleaned and ready to go. Do anything at all you can to get ahead. I went over to a, a job. I had my apprentices go look at something the other day. And I went over there. And when I pulled up, I walked in. And, man, I'm starting to get my my, my mud boots on. I'm, I'm starting to get my my suit on, my Tyvek suit. Not my mud boots, but my, my green waterproof booties. Uh and I'm starting to get this stuff on to get ready to go in. And I said, hey, I, I looked around. I said, hey, I think we need some more two-inch pipe. I don't think that we have enough here to, to get this done. And then I heard one of my apprentices done in the hall. He said, uh-oh. He said, we may have messed up. We've already got this done. And I'm like, really? He said, yeah. I said, you know what? Man, anytime you're getting ahead of the game and doing that, I ain't got no problem at all. Very happy. So, you know, learn to look ahead. Learn how to realize what needs to be done, and then get it done. Uh, everyone's a little cray-cray. Some of us more than others. So, Urban Explorer, YouTube attracts us. <laughs> yeah, boy, doesn't it? Uh, Ringo Hayes, nice. Sure could use a camera just starting out. Uh, when and where do I enter the contest? Man, the first thing is, Ringo, look, Come into the video, subscribe, be a member, whatever we're doing at the time. Ring the bell so you know. Uh, click that bell. That way you get the notification. Because, And we're trying to figure out how to do it. And I've talked to some different YouTubers about what they're doing. Bye, honey. I've talked to some different YouTubers about what they're doing. And here's what it all boils down to. Is we want to give away great stuff. Not just... Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna give the I'm gonna give away the lid to my iced tea bottle. Uh, I mean the the cameras and the leak detection equipment that we're looking at. I mean these are like five thousand dollar items. And my thing is, uh, you know, I thought about Nick and D. Uh, when when I'm watching Nick and D, you know, you can go down in the YouTube stream right here, right down below it, and, and click share. So what we were talking about today is have people go in, click share, 
take a picture of them in front of the the YouTube presentation, the YouTube show, the the live broadcast. That way, it shows that you're subscribed and it shows that you've shared that you've rang the bell. Uh, and the only reason is that way we know. Uh, and then share it somewhere and then tag us. That way I can literally go into Twitter or Instagram or Facebook or wherever and say, hey, uh, Urban Explorer, tag me. You know, look, I'm right, I'm watching Roger Wakefield live if you want to learn about plumbing. And there's a link to it. And we've thought about different things that we could do, but, you know, we're going to ask questions too. So, so you share that so we know. But then I ask a question and say, okay, you know, where's the Urban Explorer from? And those of y'all that have been in here for a while will know where he's from. And it, it may be that, or it may be, hey, what study guide do I normally recommend? What do I do? We're going to have some questions to make it to where, you know, I at least know you're here. But somebody had a great comment last week, and they said, hey, are you only going to give this to, to plumbers or people that could use it? And I, I think we want to find a way to do that. Uh, you know, I I don't think that Neil wants a sewer camera. Man, if he does, I would be, man, hurting my head trying to think of what he might do with a sewer camera. But we're just trying to find a way to do it. Find something cool. Uh, <clears throat> so we're not doing the, the contest yet. But like I said, we're going to be giving away $5,000 cameras, $5,000 leak detection equipment. We're probably going to be giving away some of these other new to market things I can't tell you about yet, but it's going to be cool. I promise. Kyle, Jeff Wilbanks, congrats. Thanks for a great, inspiring answer. Thank you. Man, look, guys, there's nothing here that's, this is not rocket science. This is plumbing. And man, if you're willing to learn it and you're willing to work hard, you can make an amazing living. And, you know, talk to Paul Peck. You can literally learn how to do this, start your own company, and work for yourself in a relatively short amount of time. Now, you want to learn to do things right because when you work for yourself, you want to build a great reputation. And that's really a big deal. So and there's a lot of ways to look at it, but just something to think about. Uh, Ringo Hayes subbed a long time ago. Man, I love that. And guys, here's the deal. I mean, you can look down at the bottom of the live right now, uh, and I say that, and I can't even see it. But you can look down at the bottom of the live right now, and it should say subscribed. And then it should show the bell, I think, and show if you've ringed it or, rang it or not. And, you know, when, when you take a selfie, and, and those of y'all that hadn't seen me watch Nick or D, uh, and I get right down in front of my monitor, I turn, smile, take a selfie, I tweet it out, I Instagram it out, I Facebook it out. I put it out a lot of different places, and I always tag Nick and D. That way they know. And, and those are the kind of things that I'm talking about. So see right there, it says share this live stream, or it did. Uh, that's what it's about. You share it, you let other people know, and we start getting enough people in here that sponsors are like, hey, look, I, I want to sponsor that. And you get more people in that want to give away cooler stuff. So it's pretty neat. Uh Giveaways are great, but they should really go to the correct people that need this kind of stuff. And, and Neil, that's exactly what I'm talking about, brother. Uh, exactly. The moon. You're from the moon. I love that. America the Brave. You're in your apprentice, but apprenticeship, but still with a new company. Though after five months, you're still not getting a lot. You're mostly always cleaning the van and bringing stuff back and forth. Is this common? You know what? At five months, t America the Brave, tell me this. Where are you located? And, and, and I'm asking because, you know, I don't know how it is where you are and tell you how it is where I, where I am. I can tell you what it was like when I was coming up in the trades. And it's a, it's a pretty cool deal. But, yeah, a lot of times in the beginning, man, you are a grunt. You are the – you're the guy that – literally has to do everything. And I remember I rode to work with the plumber that I started with. <clears throat> and those of y'all that have heard my story, you know, he's, he's one of my best friend's brothers. And he had a toolbox that was about three foot long. It was made out of two by twelves. It had two by twelves on the end 
It had a steel pipe handle down the middle, and he had rope on each end that literally made a shoulder strap for it. And this thing weighed 874 pounds when it was full. And I know that because I carried it every freaking day. And when we'd pull up in the morning, I'd tell him, I'd say, hey, man, let, let me out right here by the gate. He said, no, no, no I'm going to go ahead and park. So he'd drive a quarter mile down the road and park on the side street because he didn't want to pay for any parking close to the job. So he'd drive a quarter of a mile down. I had to carry the toolbox all the way back to the job site. And then we'd stand there and wait on the buck hoist, the elevator. And he'd be like, you know what? Why don't you go ahead and take the elevator or, or you go ahead and take the stairs. I'll be up there in a minute. I'm going to grab a couple of fittings. So, man, don't get me wrong, brother. I got frustrated with it. I got tired of it. But. I didn't complain about it, and I thought, you know what? Man, look, he's the plumber. I'm going to learn from him. And, man, I worked there about six months. I ended up going back to school because I had quit when I did that. Ended up going back to school, graduating with my class. But, man, I tell you what, I learned a lot. And sometimes the things you learn from people, America the Brave, are what you don't want to do to people, how you don't want to treat them. So things to think about. Yes, it could be very common. Uh, here we go. Urban Explorer, you could do you could tweet us your best plumbing pictures. Man, and I thought about that. Uh that way you kind of know it's going to the right guy or girl. Absolutely. Uh man, and and that's a good way to look at it is what are you doing? What kind of pictures can you get? What kind of jobs are you working on? But you know, and, and Julie asked this earlier because, because look, man, I've been thinking about this for a while. How do I do it and make it fair, but also make it where maybe somebody coming up in the trade has an opportunity to get something that could help them? And my whole thing is, you know, we want to find a way to make it neat, but we also want to try to get it in somebody's hands that'll use it. So I, I do like that. Uh, Pop Volkers back. Welcome back for Volker, Volkers. There we go. I don't have my readers on, guys. Uh, Pop Volkers, guys. Th those y'all that are just not coming in here, you see, I'm kind of, kind of dirty, kind of muddy. Uh, got started a little late today. Actually, Will went ahead and fired it up at eight, at four o'clock. Thank you very much, Will. Uh, fired it up at four to let y'all know. Look, Roger's on the way. I was under a house. We got a slab leak repair going on. And I say slab, it's actually a pier and beam repair, but we tunneled under it because there was no room in the crawl space to get down there and do the work. Uh, there were actually two breaks when I got there. My apprentice had gone ahead of me, started pumping out of it, started pumping it out, let me know about the breaks, uh, pulled the material list. We went and got it, or he went and got it, met me somewhere else so he could go do a leak detection job. I went over there to look at this, and, man, it was full of poop, and it was full of the brown and the yellow sewer water, and, man, we started putting a little dirt on it to absorb some of that, cover it up with plastic, and then do different things, but, man, we are set and ready to go now. I did make a repair so that it wouldn't be that way again tomorrow. That's why I'm a little late, but, man, we made it, and I do appreciate y'all hanging around. Uh, so America the Brave, I, I hope that I answered that for you. Uh, Pop Volkers, I, I tell you what, man, we, we're having fun. Uh, I, I'm, I'm still playing plumber. I'm still having fun. And, man, we enjoy it. Brennan Cox, I look at every building water heater for backdraft. You found three last year. You know, and, and Brennan here, here, or Brandon, I'm sorry. Think about this. I know so many plumbers that walk into houses and just fix the problem. Why you're there as a plumber, why not go ahead and look around and say, hey, look, while I'm here, just let me check out your system. I know that people think, well, you're just trying to sell me something. No, I'm a pr trained professional. I just want to let you know if there's anything wrong that you should be aware of. And you would be surprised, number one, how much clout that'll give you with your customers. So, Man, good for you. Southern Mama Drama. How about giving away one hour of one-on-one -on -one time uh, with the one, the only, Roger Wakefield? You know what? And I believe it's Jeff, right? Uh, man, I don't know that anybody would want that. Uh, 
It's funny though. I got a call from Ohio, Cleveland, Springfield, maybe Springfield, Springfield, Missouri, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, I think. And man, the guy's like, look, I, I would love to have you coach me, mentor me, do this. I'm wanting to put my own company. Uh, and we're putting something like that together. We're not ready yet. But, man, it's th there's only so much time in a day. And, man, trying to run a plumbing company full-time, trying to run social media full-time, trying to do three lives a week, it, it's, man, there's a lot going on. It's a crazy world. But you never know what we may give away. Paul Peck, good one. Absolutely. You know what? Paul will donate an hour at a time. He will tell you how to fix the holes in your wall that you hit when you get upset with your wife. I'm joking. That never happens, Julie. You know, I'm playing. Ben Lincoln. Man, this is what the poop is all about. Amos Cardoza is back in the house. Good to have you here. Great seeing you. America the Brave, isn't it? Georgia. You got to love it. Now, I actually went to Atlanta, Georgia last year or the year before, went up the hotel in the big tower, had a wonderful ribeye steak, a beautiful view, and you, you live in a pretty part of the world. Can't complain about that. Not at all. Ringo Hayes, you don't have any of those other platforms to share, but you can send Julie an email and the link and she provided. You know, hey, brother, there you go. <coughs> so, Ringo, let, let me ask you this, and this is just me asking because – I think most people in social media have a lot of platforms and, and, and not necessarily a lot, but normally more than one. Do you not have a Facebook, a YouTube? Uh, I, I guess you do have a YouTube, a Facebook, a LinkedIn, a Twitter, an Instagram, anything at all like that. And I'm not asking because I want your information. I'm asking because, man, I just, I know so many people that have all of them. I have most of them. Uh, I'm even trying to find somebody to get me, Teach me to do one of those TikTok shuffles that dance so I can do a video there. Uh, I love it, though. I have so much fun. And getting to do and – it, and it's so neat because I was watching Nick and Dean Emmons Saturday morning. And if you all don't know who they are, you, you really need to follow them to subscribe to them. Uh, Paul and Neil can both tell you who, who they are. Paul and the Urban Explorer. Uh, two fantastic guys. And – Nick saw me leave a comment. He says, oh, and, and Roger's in here. And I'd been in there for a while. And, and D said, hey, he's been in here about an hour or so. And D said, y'all, I want to tell you something. He says, Roger is doing great videos on Instagram. And, guys, it's not me. It, it, it's Will and Grayson doing their editing and doing the things that they do. But I, I got to tell you, Will has really stepped up and done a lot of great things. He, he looks at what we're doing, what we need to do, and how we need to do it. And, man, I'm telling you, Will's helped out a lot. He was in here earlier talking about my moderators. So, man, I jumped around there. It popped on me again. Neil says, Amos, did you see my comment before? Ringo Hayes, you don't have any of those other platforms? Okay. Uh, is there a particular shower valve assembly that your company installs? You know what? And there's not. Uh, and, and I say that there's a lot of good ones out. I prefer to let customers get the ones they want. I would rather them go to the box store, pick it up. That way I don't get the wrong thing. I come in, I put it all in, I put trim on it. And they're like, oh, you know what? I really don't like that. <laughs> SOL. I mean, we picked it out. We, we installed it. We're done. I would really rather them go do it, pick all that up, and, and hopefully things get a whole lot better. Uh I tell them that I would prefer they pick up a name brand, something they've heard of, American Standard, Kohler, Price Fister, Moen. Pick up a name that you've heard, not, not a, you know, I'm not, not even going to mention any names. Don't pick up a, a name you've never heard because chances are we won't be able to find the parts for it. Uh, Eamon Cardoza, Urban Explorer, how's the UK? You know what, man, the UK always treats him well. If it didn't, he'd be over here with us. Ziggy Zachary. Hey, Roger, keep it keep it going, buddy. I love that. Uh, you would be interested in doing a tool bag, uh, what your carrier for service, new construction, et cetera. Have a good one. And you know what? We are, we're talking with a couple of different sponsors. And one of the things that we're talking about with one of them, Will had a great idea, uh, God, probably a year ago. And he says, why don't we come up with Roger's tool bag? 
And I've got a lot of tools that I think are phenomenal. I love them. I, I carry them with me all the time. I think that's a great idea. Uh, that is something that we're working on, and, and we will get around to it. So, man, hopefully it works out great. Uh, Amos, Urban Explorer. America the Brave, if you go to the union, will you have to restart your apprenticeship? Your trades teacher says they have to do three to four years of union school, but you're shy from one year apprenticeship already an open shop. Uh, yo, go talk to, you said you're in Georgia, right? Go talk to the local there. Explain to them where you're at, what's going on, what you've learned, what you can do. They may need second year apprentices. The first year apprentice class may be full. And with some experience, they could possibly move you ahead. I have seen them do that. It doesn't happen all the time. But, man, it's a possibility. And if you don't ask them, you never know. So <laughs> ask. Ask and ye shall receive. Urban Explorer, maybe the winner could come spend a day with you, see how you do it, and get their prize. You know, actually, no, that, that would actually be pretty cool. Uh, that, that could actually be fun. See, there's a lot of good ideas. We just got to figure out how we're going to do it and what we're going to do. Uh, Urban, you you going live at the show? Are you doing Are you doing your live today now? Uh, <laughs> only a tube puppy. You are a joke. Uh, that's pretty funny. David Spevacek again. Uh, I'm in a rental house where we rent equipment to film crews. I like that. Uh, lights, cable, etc. Honestly, it's decent work, but you want to work for yourself one day. Understand plumbing and whatnot. So, so David, tell me again where you're at. Rental house where you work to film crews. David, tell me where you're at and, and what kind of videos you're doing. And, and I say that because I literally reached out to UTD today. I reached out to some different people about videographers. Uh <laughs> You got Neil in here. You got Paul in here, man. We all understand how a good, how good a, a great videographer is and the value of it. So that's pretty neat. Uh, America the Brave, another question. Oh wait, here we go. Let me roll back up. I apparently jumped one. There we go, right there. Uh, David, really like the satisfaction of helping people. You're kind of nervous about making the jump. Are there companies that hire specifically for weekend work? You know, David, not that I know of, uh, you may be able to find a big company that runs calls on a weekend that may say, hey, look, you know, all our apprentices work their tail off during the week. We'll get you to come in on the weekend. I would say for the most part, probably not. Chances are you're going to have to say, look, I'm either going to do this or not. So let me turn that around. You're, you're doing film and lights and crews and stuff like that. Could you do that on the weekend? And work plumbing during the week. And I say that because I had a friend who was a project manager at one of the biggest union companies here in town. And on the weekend he flew out of town. He was a cable guy for the NFL for ESPN and he ran cables. He, he was a video guy. So, but he did it every weekend and they knew it. So it was really pretty cool. Okay. America, the brave, another question. Your journeyman gets angry if you take more than three to five minutes finding the tool. <clears throat> Issue is he doesn't put them back where they are. Man, and look, I got to tell you, I, I'm, I, man, I'm not the greatest at keeping my van completely organized. Uh, I need to be because I understand the value of it. And I met an apprentice one day, and this apprentice came in, and he was like, uh, God, what is it, level six train, sigma six, something like that. And he is literally designing his vans where any van he has, every tool is on it in the exact same spot. And, man, this guy, man, he, he gets it. But he also understands that, you know, we spend time looking for tools and equipment. And if you set everything up right and teach everybody that everything has a place, it will save you so much time in the long run. I think that's fantastic. Oh, man. I'm getting tired. It's been a long day. Uh, 
Alexander Waverly, can you join the Plumbers Union Apprenticeship if you have a DUI on your record? Absolutely. Uh, matter of fact, most of them probably have them too. Uh, here, here's the deal is, is, look, as long as you don't commit crimes of moral turpitude, you can get your plumbing license and, and be a plumber. And that's really a big deal. So the union, man, they're, they're not going to stop you from that. Uh, no problem at all. Uh, America the Brave, and I can't move my body in the van without always getting cut. Seem to find a tool in front <laughs> under fast food bags. Yeah, now mine's not that bad. Uh, boy, I bust around there again. Uh, why don't they take responsibility for this instead of blaming me? It's easier to blame you. And look, I'm not trying to be mean. It's just it's easier to blame you than admit they're doing something wrong. <clears throat> Nick and D are great. You know, you were right. America the Brave, you get angry because if they keep it organized and clean, it wouldn't take you forever to find. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, Neil. Ringo Hayes. You just never really got into a social media. You're kind of boring, but any time is a good time to start. And, and you know what, man? And look, it's not that you're boring. It's just that that, that wasn't what you did. Uh Look, look I'm, I'm in here talking uh, about Paul and Neil, and they've been doing this a long time. I literally just started YouTube seriously 18 months ago. And Paul, I think we talked about it the other day. You've been doing this a few years. Neil, how long, how long have you been in YouTube, not just with this channel, but with all your channels? How long have both of y'all been doing YouTube? Uh, God, and if you know how long Nick and D have, I think D just started like, a year, a year ago, maybe a little bit more. But if you know how long they are, guys, here's the deal. Social media is new. If you jump in it now, man, 10 years from now, you're going to have 10 years more experience than anybody starting it then. What we're doing in social media right now, guys, is man, man, we're, we're out in the front saying, look, let's try something new. And, man, we're not going to learn it all. So go back and look at the yellow pages and television ads and newspaper ads and stuff like that, and look at how long they hung around. I really think social media is going to hang around a lot more, especially if you get good at video, uh, at editing, at content writing, at the different platforms and learning how to use them. Guys, this is going to be huge. So get into it unless you're a plumber. I want to be the only plumber here. I'm joking. Uh <clears throat> Amos Cardoza, you're not kidding on price. There you go. Yeah, those things ain't cheap. No life today. Gonna wait till you get a thousand. Then I love it. And guys, that's the thing too. And, and you know, we're, we're talking about that about social media. And have a plan. Don't just come in and say, okay, look, I'm gonna start doing you know ten lives a week, and I have no subs. And I know people like that here local. What I will tell you is. Decide when you're going to start and start, but then get very serious about it and, and be consistent. Understand you got to bring value. If I just, you know, sit here in front of the camera all day and pick my nose, man, I'm not going to bring any value. You're like, well, I don't want to watch him do that. But if I bring value and we talk about plumbing and talk about things that you want to learn in plumbing, man, anytime I can bring you value, it, it works. So it's kind of a neat deal. Uh, if you have me on Instagram, you'll be pulling the story tab up tomorrow. I love it. And that's that's so neat, man. You get to see these people in different places. And like Dee said the other day, Roger, look, what you're doing on Instagram is great. And it's kind of the same, but it's kind of different. And that's it. Each platform is a little bit different. Find out where you can get on there, do good, and do things different, and you can really do well. Uh, Southern Mama Drama, does your company charge time and a half? For weekends and after hours, or does your company charge the same rate? We charge the same rate. Uh, we do have an emergency service fee. If they call like after six or Sundays, and normally I don't do it on Saturdays, uh, we tell them, hey, look. There's, and what it does is really, once you tell them there's an emergency fee, they're like, oh, well, you know what? I can wait till Monday. <laughs> okay. Then why are you calling at 11 o'clock at night? Well, I just remembered that it had been the toilet's been running for a month. 
well, it's not an emergency. And if you tell them about an emergency fee, they're like, well, we don't want to, we don't want you to come then. We'll wait till Monday. I like that. David, thanks for answering your questions. Keep up the good work with your channel. Man, I'm trying. I appreciate you being here. Julie, DUI may affect who hires you in the service industry. The further back in the past is the better. And see, Julie is my HR person. She's my boss. My HR, she does a lot. Uh, and she's right. Uh, whatever company you go to work for may have different rules. Check with them. I don't see it being a problem. If you're wanting to get in the union, become a welder. Become a pipe fitter. They don't care. They don't go in people's houses. They normally don't drive service vehicles around. There's always an opportunity to do something different. Uh, Neil's been at about two years. See, that's brother, you're right about where I'm at. Uh, I literally, I walked in social media marketing world two years ago because this will be my third one in a couple of weeks. And... A month later, I was I started putting videos up three a week. So it's been crazy. Fafong Wong 3, need a decent hand. You're not scared of work. Man, I love it. Uh, did you say you're a second-year apprentice? I'm trying to remember. Uh, I, here's what I need, guys. I need plumbers. I need plumbers before I can hire apprentices. I need either a tradesman plumber or a journeyman plumber, a master plumber. I don't care what it is, but I need plumbers. Because right now, I'm having to get out in the truck. I've got two great apprentices right now. Love both of them. They're fantastic. But I've got to get plumbers so I don't have to go do all the actual plumbing work. Uh, Urban, you have 10-plus years of advice from the amazing people you surround yourself with. And you know what? That, and that's so cool. I like the way you put that. Because I'm growing on YouTube. And, and I'm learning YouTube, and, and I'm trying to do things right on YouTube. But it's not, it's not that I'm just guessing how to get better. I watch Nick and D almost every weekend. I watch Paul. I watch Neil. I watch Daniel. I watch Roberto. I watch Sean. I watch Benji. I watch so many people and, and watch what they do, how they do it. But I also, their classes, I watch them. I buy them. I want to learn how to be really, really good at YouTube. And I think the only way to do it is get in, study it, learn it, practice it, and then get better at it. And, and that's what we're trying to do. So it's a continuous thing that, man, we, we just we constantly work on. Alexander Helling, you've been a subscriber for a little while. What are your thoughts on union pipe fitting as a job? You'll be starting as a pre-apprentice, and you're looking forward to it. Almost 40 We'll be in plumbing. Okay, so you say you're going as, as a pipe fitter, but you will be in plumbing. Uh, what local are you joining? <clears throat> and I ask because ours is a combination local, plumbing and pipe fitting. And we had somebody mention in here earlier, look, I'm a pipe fitter, but I'm so glad they teach us plumbing so we can get our license. And I think that's huge. I think that is so smart because that's going to put you ahead Man, for the rest of your career, even if it's just because you learn different things. But I've always thought that's amazing. Uh, I would say if it's a, if you're going to school as a pipe fitter and you can get your plumbing license, absolutely freaking lutely. Learn it. Learn it the best you can, and you'll do really, really good at it. But, man, I love it. Uh, when I joined the union in 97, I had been plumbing for 17 years. After about a year, I went to the president, vice president of our company and said, hey, look, I would like to go back to school as an apprentice to learn pipe fitting because I think that would be good for me. And he just started laughing. And he's like, man, they are not going to let you go to school as an apprentice. You're a journeyman. They're not going to give up that seat. Uh, just, just keep doing plumbing. The thing is, over the next 20 years in the union, I learned, I learned how to be a pipe fitter. I watched them, I helped them, I worked with them. And later when I was a superintendent, I had welders and pipe fitters working for me because I understood it. I could lay them out. I could order materials ahead of them. I understood what they do. I understood what they did. I knew how to watch production and see if we were where we were supposed to be. I mean, there were a lot of things involved, but I learned it. And, and man, I'm so glad that I did. Amos Cardoza, I do have employees. Uh, 
<clears throat> man, I, I just lost a plumber recently. Uh, so right now it's me and two apprentices and we're running our tail off. And that's why guys, and I know y'all have heard me say this in here a lot. I'm looking for plumbers. Uh, man, I need plumbers bad. Service plumbers, Dallas, Texas. Come on. Southern Mama Drama. Everyone, if you get into social media, be consistent. Post a video every week on the same day and make your sound make sure your sound is good. Sound is the most important. And you know what, man? You are correct. Lot of one. Most of the plumbers in your city have a rule that workers don't go to a specific job unless they can make the customer pay a certain amount. So they make up some additional problems on the spot. See, I, I don't believe in that. I just, man, that's just never been me or the way that I wanted to be. So if I find Wong, here's what I'd tell you. Man, what you should do is go ahead, and I know the union has told you you don't need your tradesman. Have you already got your journeyman license? Uh, and if so, do you know anything about residential service plumbing? Uh, America the Brave, your boss is letting you go at the end of the month. He says the only reason is because of employment insurance, but the company makes tons of money every day. Is employee insurance a lot? You know, it, it is a lot, but, you know, it's not so much that I would let go of somebody. Uh, and to be honest, I'd go in and ask them, look, what do I need to do to get better as a plumber? And I'm not saying you're not, but, you know, I, I, whenever I ran big jobs, You've got to look at it like this. When you when it's time to cut back on the job, you start letting go of – you would never let go of your best employees. You want to keep them forever. And it may just be personal. It may be, look, I just don't like you. Uh, maybe you don't like him and he knows it. There, there could be a million different reasons. But think about it. As a superintendent on a job, if I'm going to cut down to two people, I want those two people to be the best two freaking people in the world because – if they can't do the work, I've got to. And I always want to make sure I keep my very best people till the end of the job. And, and to me, that's huge. So I'd ask him, look, what? And say, look, I love the fact that, that I can talk to you and whatnot. I'm wanting to stay in the trade and I'm wanting to grow in the trade. What do I need to do to get better? What do I need to do to become a good plumber? And most people will be honest with you at that point. And look, I'm not saying you've done anything wrong, so please don't take it that way. My thing is, if, you, if you're man enough to go talk to somebody like that, they'll normally say, hey, look, here's what you can work on to get better. And then you just think about it and say, hey, is, is that something I messed up on or did? And, and it may not be. But I love it when people ask me, hey, what can I do to get better? Because I, I can normally see it. And I don't mind helping them out. And it's not bad. Man, look, and I, I love the people that work for me. And I want to do anything in the world to help them. But if I got to let somebody go and they say, what can I do to get better? I'm always going to be 100% honest about it because I want what's best for them. And, and that's a big deal to me. Uh, Jobo, what equipment do you use as mentioned in your sewer water leak video? Uh, I've got different equipment. And, and Jobo, here, here's the deal. I'm, I'm working on sponsorship opportunities with two or three different ones right now. I don't want to tell a whole lot about them right now. Man, I will tell you this, it, I, and I mean, some of y'all have seen my videos, you've seen the cameras, you know what they are, you can tell. Uh, I love the products that we have. And, you know, I've said all along, when, when I start filling up, as y'all see, my sponsor wall is empty, uh, but we're working on that. And when we do, man, I'm going to tell y'all exactly what I'm using because it's phenomenal stuff. And, and I do think that we use the very best. Southern Mama Drama. You start your apprentice tomorrow. I love it. Never knew plumbers made good money. Man. Uh, they never taught this in high school. Graduated number one in your class in UNC. And do not use your degree. Uh, no, man. Thank you. Uh, and I love stories like this because here's the deal. And, and look, Paul is a great sheetrocker. He understands it. And I say sheetrock. Drywall, uh, texture, tape and bed, the whole nine yards. Man, some of the smartest people I know are, didn't go to college. Uh, you don't have to go to college to be smart. But here's, here's the good thing is, man, what you learned in college, 
<clears throat> I wish, and, and I say that that's not true. I started to say, I wish I'd have gone to college because, but, but here's the deal. College can teach you how to study. I don't think it teaches you much else. Uh, and, and look, I, I'm not trying to fight about it. I'm not saying anything bad. I think that college can teach you how to study. I think that can help anybody in any business because when you get into business, when I'm a plumber and I start my own company, I have no freaking idea what I'm doing. And I'm the dumbest guy in the room. And I had a lot to learn. I'm still learning. I've got groups that I learn from. I've got mentors that I learn from. I've got coaches that I learn from. I've got Neil, Neil and Paul that, that I mean, I watch what they do and, and say, Hey, I want to get better. And this is how I get better. And you watch this stuff and you learn from it. And that's me. Man, you've got a college degree. You're supposed to say, Hey, look, if I, if I want to learn how to do this, this is what I'm going to do. So think about it like this. If you ever want to own your own business, learn plumbing, learn how to do it, learn how to do it better than anybody else, start your own business. And now and you know how to run a company and you're going to be so far ahead of people like me and man, it's phenomenal. I love it. So I'm happy for you. And I love to see women getting into trades too. Your daughter wants to be a mortician. Now that's actually pretty cool. Waverly, can you take your journeyman plumber license and work from state to state or must you be a master plumber for that? Actually, neither one. <clears throat> and, and what I mean by that is, a license is a state thing if that state requires a license. Now, when you're in the union, say you're a pipe fitter or welder, you can get a travel card so you can go any place because there are no state licenses for those. Plumbing there is. And the, the neat thing about it is there's a lot of states that reciprocate. So I think North Carolina and South Carolina, I can actually just fill out paperwork and get my plumbing license there. So, man, there's neat things and neat ways you can go around it. Your plumbing license is a little different, though. You can't just move from state to state and keep doing it. Different states are different. Uh, I know Texas is one of the hardest states to get your license in. So what I might tell you, try to get your license in Texas. Then if you want to go anywhere else, it's normally easier. Got the wonderful Miss Josephine DeSmet in here. That is fantastic. Thank you, man. It's very happy to see you. Uh, so if I find Wong, here, here's the deal. You're studying UPC for your exams. Good. Uh, man, I say take it as soon as you can. Once you get that, man, God, that changes your world. Uh, let me see here. I don't know why Julia deleted that. Josephine, I'm glad you came in and say hi. It's good to see you. Uh, Josephine, I go to college. I'm still not smart. Josephine, you're full of it. That's what you are. Uh, and see, Josephine's another one. Jo Josephine goes in and watches Nick and D. She knows Paul. She, she knows Neil. And, you know, the thing is, we watch people. We learn from them. We ask questions, just like y'all are asking me questions. When I go in and watch Nick and D, I ask questions. That's how I'm going to learn. And, man, I love what we do. And think about it. If I can be a plumber and learn how to use social media like I'm doing right here to talk to y'all and help you learn how to get into the trades. And to me, that that's a great thing. That's why I love what we do. America the Brave, sometimes they'll say bring six to eight things, and it's hard to remember all of them. Okay, so here's what I would tell you. Write it down. And before you walk off, say, okay, I'm going to get this, 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 and this. If they don't like it, say, guys, look, I bet in Georgia there's another place you can get a job. Just saying. I had three in one day, three different companies, so trust me. Uh, let me see. Troy Kitchen, how are you, sir? You know what, man? It, it was good talking to you. Thoroughly enjoyed it. From And I was actually talking about you earlier. You're up in Ohio. What part of Ohio? I know you talk. I think it's Dayton. So, man, no, I'm, man I, I love talking to people, especially if you can find a way to help. I love it. Uh, Roger, you're always one of the smartest people in the room. She's been drinking, y'all. I'm joking. Josephine. That was a cute intro. See? Julie Wakefield. No. 
pause. It was an accident. Didn't mean to delete it. Sorry. <laughs> and Julie, I didn't. When I read it, I, I thought, no, Josephine, you're a doll. Uh, everybody in here thinks the world of you. Amos, are there any major advancements in plumbing that are coming and you're excited about? Man, every day. And, and I'll give you a quick lowdown. Uh, I know of a product that's coming and... <clears throat> I specialize in slab leaks and leak detection, but I know of a product that's coming out and a lot of y'all are going to say it's already out. And I'm telling you, there's nothing like this out. I've talked to the manufacturers of the other products. This is a product that will mount in your meter box, in your, your meter box out by the curb. It is submersible so it can get wet. It's got cellular service so it communicates with the satellite. It doesn't have to be Wi-Fi. It has a battery that'll last a year or two. It lets you know when you have a leak at your house. And the, the next version of this actually has a valve that installs so you can press a button and shut off the water to your house. So not only can it let you know you have a leak, it can tell you to shut the water off until you can get somebody there to fix it. Now, why is this cool? Because when you turn this thing around, if I'm the plumber that sells this to you, I also get a notification saying you have a leak. So... Maybe you didn't see it. Maybe you had your notifications turned off. I can call you and I can say, Amos, this is Roger, your plumber. I've got a notification. You've got a leak at your house. You want me to go ahead and send somebody by there just to check it out to see if this is anything serious? Man, that to me is phenomenal. Julie, just saying, Oh, just saying it's just one when you said, hey, how are y'all doing? Something like that. It's like your second comment. I went in and restored it, I think. Uh, I clicked on it at least so I could see it. Uh, yeah, it was nothing major. She just hit her wrong. See, see what happens when you make people moderators? I don't even know how to be a moderator. So I know, Julie, you're wonderful. Uh, let me see. Charlie Ledesma, as a plumber, if you have to rip open some drywall, are you putting that wall back together? Charlie, I don't. And to be honest, man, the way I do it, because we've got a price to open up a wall, it's, it's part of our diagnosis. Uh, but I tell people, look, we're, we're going to take it out, but you don't want us to put it back in. You don't want your plumber doing drywall. You don't want your drywall guy doing plumbing. Uh, Paul, I mean, tell me what you think. I would rather take a keyhole saw, cut it out as nice as I can, leave that there and then let them call the sheetrock guy to do it. That way I know it's done right and I don't have to worry about it. Uh, jumped around again. Roger, you play any sports? You know what? I used to play, man, I used to. I used to run track. I used to run the 440 relay, the mile relay and high jump. And I played quarterback in high school. I, I played football. Uh, loved it. But track I really did enjoy. Uh, I went to a predominantly black high school. I, I was the the white boy on the 440 relay. And, man, I loved it. I, I'm fast. Used to be. Used to be. Uh, I used to could throw the ball. Now I've had both shoulders worked on. And, man, I just I love the guys I play football with. And some of them are still my friends talk to, man, all the time. But I used to play sports, and, I mean, I loved it. It was great. Alfredo Diaz, San Diego Plumber, how are you, sir? Any chance of talking about bonding, insurance, payroll, S-Corp versus LLC? Man, I've got stuff that we're working on that, that I'll be able to help with you help you with that soon. Uh, man, here's what I would tell you is find out what you need to do in your area, what is required. And I think in San Diego and California, you've got to take the contractor's exam. It's an open book test. And I believe a lot of that stuff's on there. So what I would do is, is figure out what you've got to study to pass it, get in there and get it done and call it good. Uh, I love it. Josh, I think you're on the wrong channel. Millwright for life. What the heck? I'm joking. It's good to have you in here, Josh. Uh, and, and here's the deal, guys. I have a lot of tradespeople come in and, and talk about different things. I have a lot of tradespeople go into my YouTube channels, and, and they're like, hey, man, look, I'm an electrician. And it's the same thing. It's like, well, what are you doing here? 
And look, I, I mean nothing bad by that. Uh, I love all the trades. I think more kids should join the trades than get into college. I think it would help them out a lot. Uh, there's a lot of people with college debt that aren't even doing what their degree's about. And I really wish teachers in high school would help push, and not push, because I don't like that word. I hate. I, I wish that they would inform mo more students about the trades and let them know about the opportunities out there. And I know plumbers that are multimillionaires, and I, I know college graduates that work at McDonald's. So, man, it, it, it is what it is. Just because you go to college doesn't mean you're going to get a great career. But just because you become a plumber doesn't mean you're freaking stupid or you're always going to be poor. There's lots of different ways to look at it. Uh, America the Brave, you're welcome for all the advice. Very welcome. Josephine, Roger, you're a plumber, and I don't know anything of plumbing, but you have a way of delivering your message that makes me listen. Josephine, thank you so much. I like that. And you're right, Julie. Man, that's my angel right there. She's a doll. Uh, Jeff Wilbanks, you didn't know about the state-to-state -state licensing. You're only 15 miles from St. Louis, and that's something to look into. So here's what I would tell you, and, and I know people that are plumbers. A lot of, you know, I, St. Louis, Missouri, St. Louis, man, I lost it real quick. Uh, yeah, 15 miles from St. Louis. Okay, there's one that's Kansas City, Missouri, Kansas City, Kansas, okay? I don't think in Kansas they really care which license you have as long as you have one of them. St. Louis may be the same way. It may be, hey, man, you're close enough. Uh yeah, I'm lucky. I mean, I'm in Dallas, Texas. Uh, in Texas, my license is good everywhere. I can work in Dallas, San Antonio, Austin, Houston, Fort Worth. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's the same license. I've just got to understand that each one of them goes by different code. Make sure I know what code they go by and what the addendums are. And, man, I can plumb all over the state of Texas. So it's kind of neat. I just wouldn't want to have to drive to Houston every day to go and stop a toilet and then come back. I'd go broke. So that's a big deal. Southern Mama Drama. Oh, man, it jumped on me again. Okay, guys, if y'all will slow down the questions, I am fixing to wrap them up. It is, I've been here an hour and 52. I know I hadn't been here that long. Will came in, got it started again. Sorry I was late, as you can see. Man, I'm a real plumber today. I mean, I came in dirty. Uh, I've got my booties on, so I didn't track mud in the office because Julie will whoop me. But other than that, it is all good. Alfredo Diaz, every business is different, and only CPA can really answer that. And you guys, and here's the deal, and, and that's a good way to put it. It's not just every business is different. It's different in every state. Some, sometimes it's different in every city. Uh, know what the requirements are, your AHA, your, your authority having jurisdiction. Man, know what all's going on because it's going to help you. Uh, Paul's an S Corp. I'm an LLC. Uh, <laughs> Neil, Neil wants to know how is Josephine's plumbing? How is every Josephine? Tell everybody where you're from, and Neil, tell everybody where you're from. Uh, matter of fact, if y'all are from out of the United States, tell everybody. Uh, it's kind of neat. It's wonderful the reach that we have with the internet. Uh, let me see. Alan Thompson encouraged the tradesmen. I always do. Charles, the topic of the day is Roger has been under a house and he's dirty and doesn't smell good. And actually, I smell good. Julie brought roses in a while ago. I gave them to her for Valentine's, but she brought them in to me. Uh, for the idea is Josephine DeSmet. Guess we found your keywords? Absolutely. Charles King, let's talk my favorite subject, how to sell a job. You know what? And, and that's a good one. And I can tell you very easily, Charles, how to do it. And it's just like Neil and Josephine and Paul know how to make videos. You bring value. And and, and it's funny because I, I told Amber this today. We, we lost a job. Uh, she said, hey, will, will you call this guy? We, we've gone and looked at it. He's had multiple companies come out. And guys, normally I'm not the cheapest guy, and I get that. 
Uh, I've never wanted to be the cheapest plumber. I've always wanted to be the best. That means we give extra value. We, and we do it 100% right. And that's a huge, huge thing to me. And I called him and uh, I said, hey, I just want to call and talk to you about that. And he says, uh, he says, just going to let you know, we're going with somebody else. Uh, their price was better. So, okay, thank you very much. I'm not going to argue with him. Uh, and as soon as I hung up, I looked at Amber. I said, okay, I did not sell the value on that job. Because other plumbers can do it cheaper. We do it better. And I promise you, most of them aren't going to do everything that we do. But you know what? To some people, it's just about money. And I ask people all the time, hey, is this all about money? Is that all it is? And if they're like, well, yeah. I'm like, well, then I'm not your guy. And they're like, well, how do you know? Well, I have the best plumbers. We use the best equipment. And we're always going to do it right. And therefore, I can't be the cheapest. So you need to call the cheapest plumber. But if they mess anything up, we'll come back and fix it. But normally at that point, it's going to cost double. And they're like, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want the cheapest guy to do it. So well, you told me it's all about money. So if it's all about money, the cheapest guy is the one who normally wins. And man, it turns them around real quick. So there you go, Charles King. You got it. How to sell a job. Jeff Wilbanks, you also wish you knew about getting into the union way back in high school. See, I wish I'd have got in the union right out of high school too. Uh, man, my pension, oh my God, I could have already, I could have retired five years ago. That'd be sweet. Uh, just noticed he's filthy. Come on, Neil. And I've, I've, I've been showing y'all my, look at, look at, look at this. I mean, and this is legit, man. I am Roger the plumber. I didn't even change shirts. I, I mean, I got crap in my hair and I got a cut on my head. I don't know if y'all see it or not. I feel it. It hurts. Uh, Roger, you got on jobs as the owner. Hmm. Charles, what do you think? I'll let you answer. I'm not going to give you any. No, no hints or nothing, but yes, sir, I do. KD, Kenny from Sugarland, just southwest of Houston, uh, says tonight he looked like a real plumber. Boy, isn't that the truth? Paul's an escort. Paul's always been an escort. So, Neil from Liverpool, England. Guys, well, we, get, we get the greatest people around the world in here. I love this. Isaiah 92, caught the late stream. Man, good to have you in here. We are just fixing to get out. Uh, Josh from Newfoundland, Canada. I love that. Josephine, where are you from? I know you put it in there, or didn't you? Maybe not. Maybe you didn't. Paul Peck, how are you? Paul, number one, thank you for being here, brother. I, I appreciate it when you're here. Uh, I've got the best moderators, guys. Thank y'all so much. I am actually getting ready to shut this puppy down. Uh, the best method of selling is providing the customers with multiple options. You bet, but you've also got to sell that value. Uh, okay, she's from Belgium. That's right. Uh, I love it. Yeah, guys, guys, I, and I don't even get to see that stuff anymore, Paul. I don't know. Uh, oh, maybe I do. No. Now, we've got it set up here where... I can see the comments, and that's about all that I get to see. So, you know, guys, if if you like what we're doing, uh, man, I, I hope it works. Uh, I hope you like it. I hope you come back. I hope you share it. Uh, if you hadn't done it yet, subscribe and ring the bell. We are going to be working on some giveaways, and they're going to be pretty cool. Uh, they're not going to be cheap. They're going to be good stuff. I'm working with sponsors and, and different people. And I want to give away things that, that people can really use, really enjoy, and it'll really help them. So that's what we're working on. I hope it works. Guys, I do appreciate y'all coming. Thank you for understanding. And I wasn't here right at 4 o'clock. Uh, I was in a, a mess. But it was good and it was fun and we enjoyed it. So if you hadn't done it yet, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you didn't, man, write me a note. Tell me why. What do I have to do to get better? Because that's what I'm working on. Uh, yeah, sea snakes. That's what we're doing. Uh, Miss Josephine, good to have you in here. Uh, Neil, the Urban Explorer, great to have you in here, brother. Josephine, Paul Peck, and everybody who's been in here. It has been great tonight. Uh, moderators, thank you for all you do. Uh, Julie, Will, all of y'all. Didn't see Grayson in here tonight, but, you know, you never know. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm Roger Wakefield. Hey, have a great week. This is Monday. I don't see y'all for a whole week.
So have a great week and make the best out of it. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.